Hello, my name is Juan Rafael Alvarez. I am a second year PhD student at the University of Oxford. I am doing my PhD as an early stage research fellow sponsored by the innovative training network LIMQUIT, Light Matter Interfaces for Quantum Enhanced Technologies. This network is composed of different partners uh, here in the UK, but there is also partners in France, in Germany, in Switzerland, and in Bulgaria. All of the PhD students that make part of this uh, network are from different parts of the world, and we are all sponsored by the Maurice Klodowska Curie Actions, which is a project created by the European Commission to support scientific research. So today I will be telling you a little more about my research, which is on how to produce single photons using atoms and cavities. So please come join me because I will show you a little bit of what we do in the lab. So before we start, let us try to define some of the terms that we will use the most in this video. Democritus, a Greek philosopher who lived between 460 and 370 BC, formulated the idea of atoms, particles of matter which cannot be split any further. Think about a tomato or a lemon which you would start splitting with a knife until you couldn't split any more halves. Nowadays, however, in our modern world, an atom is the smallest constituent of matter that maintains the chemical properties of an element. Similarly, a photon is the smallest constituent of light and one of the elementary particles of physics. Single photons have all sorts of exciting properties, in particular concerning the branch of physics that is called quantum mechanics. A photon can be in a superposition of states, horizontal and vertical, or longer and shorter parts, and two photons can be in what is called an entangled state. By affecting one photon of an entangled state, the other one will feel the effect. Come and join me in a small tour by the lab where we produce these incredible photons. Welcome to the lab. In this lab, we use laser light to trap, control, and study how atoms behave. The light used in this lab has a wavelength of 780 nanometers. It is infrared, invisible, but it can still hurt your eyes. We can see the infrared light here using special tools. We use a technique called laser cooling in which a cloud of atoms is held in place by using laser light and magnetic fields. Atoms are then sent to what is called a cavity, a pair of super reflective mirrors looking face to face which has a vacuum cleaner effect. It pulls most of the photons that our atoms produce as they fly by. The mirrors here are as far apart as a hair is thick. Here you can see a small cloud of about a million atoms being moved around when the magnetic field is changed. The cloud of atoms here is directly under the cavity which I just showed you. Atoms are really hard to pin down to a single point. In this experiment we only watch them as they fly by. We shoot them vertically in a configuration that is called an atomic fountain, expecting that some emit photons while passing through the cavity. The photons produced by atoms in cavities have really cool properties. Their temporal shapes can be changed at will, making photons that can look, for example, like Tower Bridge, and which can store several units of information at the same time. Okay, this concludes our little VAP tour. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have liked this video. Please leave any questions in the comment section. Goodbye!